It's your boy Nas God, hip hop is real.com, music I am TV. You've been fucking with me since day one, so you know I'm fucking with you, man. What's your name? Uh, Guido Poppy. For anybody that don't know me, or I go by DJ Guido Poppy. Uh, artist and DJ, visionary, entrepreneur. Yes, name indeed. It. Yes, indeed, he is. Now, um, I'm gonna go straight to it. Yes, sir. Now, in April fourth, I, I, I had to get to it. In April fourth, two thousand thirteen, if I'm not mistaken. You posted a picture on your Instagram and said, me and my drum sets. Mm -hmm. And it was just you with a stick and two pots. Mm -hmm. How old was you in that picture? I want to say like five or six. Five or six years old. In the kitchen of my house in Orlando. Right. Uh, my mom used to put on like uh, Ricky Martin CDs, uh, NSYNC, right. you know, any, anything. Back in, the, I used to play along to it. Or right. she would cook, clean, whatever. And you was only five, six yeah. years old. Now, as I'm looking into your history and stuff like that, I see another picture with a whole full drum set. Yep. <laughs> yep. Literally a whole full drum set. Yep. It went from pots and pans to, to, to play, equipment. It, it went <laughs> pots and pans to playing some little game on my thing when I was little. Right. So then I got a small drum set for like sixth grade. Oh, all right. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we get into on. that, right. <laughs> before we get into that, because I want to go by steps with you. Okay. You know, um, how old was you when you have got when you got the drum set? The first drum set, I was in sixth grade. So, I don't know. How, how many years grade. after the one with the damn kitchen with the pots? Probably like six or seven. Seven more years. Oh, well, you was about at least 12? Yeah, how to be 12, 12, 11, 13, 12, maybe 14. But you years. had your own drum set at that mm -hmm. age, right? Yeah. Got it from now, first. now, now, what, what, what had got you into like really getting into like the drums and stuff like that? Was there something like you always wanted to do as a kid because you know your mom and your parents did, you know, uh, sound, uh, listen to music mm -hmm. and stuff like that? Like, in my household, we drive? had a lot of like Latin percussion being played through the music. Is it like a culture thing? Yeah. Well, okay, so I'm Italian and Costa Rican. Okay. So more so of the Costa the Rican side. You got side. the best of, of both worlds. Yeah. yeah. Just say Two it. tourist <laughs> locations just, just, that everybody just loves. Say it. Beautiful yeah. people, beautiful you come women. come from one of the best parts in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I think they met on a cruise or some shit. <laughs> oh, right, right. <laughs> but um, a lot of Latin music being played in my house, right? Okay. So I just, you know, hearing all the congas and the bongos and right. the cowbells, it just got me... Okay, ooh, I like that the sound. The sound. Yeah, so I play on the pots and pans. Right. And then, uh, no inspiration. I just always have rhythm. Like, always gotta be tapping. Oh, so it was always in, in you. That's yeah. It. In other words, it was like, it wasn't represented to you. It was something that was already inside of you mm -hmm. already. It's deep inside. Just music. I always had beats in my head. And then, like, middle school, you know, the little desks where you could put your feet up? Right. I'd always get complaints from the person in front of me, telling right. me to stop shaking. But I was doing you the beat. Couldn't stop. Yeah. So you was constantly, constantly. even through school. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Okay. Now, um, I, I I know. I know for a fact that you DJ. Mm -hmm. You know. But besides all that, we're gonna go back because I want to know like, after you got in your drum set, like how many years after that did you like get into the music? Okay. Uh, Cause I know you was always into music, mm -hmm. but when did you get deep into it that you started saying, okay, it's time for me to do something with this music, either whether it be an artist or whether it be a DJ? Like, did you always know you was gonna? Hell no. Hell no. I went to. Well, hold on, huh? first. So high school comes around. Right, right, right. right high school right, comes right, around, right. and then I have my first like close friend of mine that's a really good rapper at the time. Right. In my high school, uh, it was like from 2009 to 2012. I graduated 2012. Uh, there was no like anybody doing like legit hip hop or anything like that, right, except right. for my one friend. So we did a little project together where I played the drums. It was like a jazz right. hip hop fusion. Right. And it was pretty cool. And on top of that, I was in a band like a metal band. 
right. that toured around Central Florida for a little while. Right, right. So that right there got me the spotlight. I was like, oh, I like this. Spot be in front of people, needed. playing it. But as a drummer, you're still way in the back. Right, right. And I was like, nah, fuck that. I need to be in the front, you know? Right, right. So then uh, a lot of my friends were into, like, DJing. A couple of them, you know? And we, we, we all, like, I was more in of a school. promoter. Yeah, in school. I was more of a promoter. So when you got your drum set at 12, 13 years old, was you in school? Yep. Then, and you were still into like doing the music and mm -hmm. stuff like that? Mm -hmm. How deep did you get into it? Uh, was it in high school or Yeah, music? towards the end of high school is when I was really like... How old were you then? I was probably like 17, 16. Okay, 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 a couple years later. Yeah. After the drum set. But still not in the limelight. Okay. Still far in the back. When did you find yourself in your mind that you knew you wanted to do what you're doing now? 2016. 2016. A lot of good opportunities came, and uh, I moved actually out here. Once I moved out here, I was like, oh, I'm taking it serious now. Where were you I don't living know then? Oh, Claremont, if you know where that is. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I'm Deep down in right. Lake County. Now, um, like I was saying, I, I, in high school, I know you started doing your music and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, did you get deep into it in high school? No. Nah, it was not until right. after. It was summer. Right, right. Not until after. Okay, so when did you officially start going to open doors and open it up about being a DJ? Probably like 2016. When yeah. I, yeah, once I came out here, I tried to rebrand, actually start the brand, got a logo, got everything official, started meeting and networking, because like music's out here more. Official like in what way? Like, like, hey, what's up? I'm Guido Poppy. Okay, okay. I'm not so Gianni this, um, anymore. Oh, you gave your song. Oh, now, okay, okay. I hear what you're saying. So you came up with the name, mm -hmm. and it took lead off from mm -hmm. from that. Exactly. When was the first time you really grabbed a, a laptop and said, okay, this is what I'm going to do? Shit. That probably was 2012. For graduation, I got a MacBook. And I, I was like, yo, I got to get my library up. So I started getting my library up. It took me like four years. To get it all where I wanted it for the music that I like. And that's I have the library. Why not start DJing? Right. So then, uh, 2016. Ooh, what, what was your first gig? First gig? It was probably terrible. Uh, somebody's quinceanera or some shit. Oh, shit. Some shit like that. Uh, yeah. uh, Had the, the chick's dad behind me the whole time, like, hey, <laughs> you gotta play this song. Play it now. I'm like, damn, bro, get off here. Uh, the, the life of a DJ. Yes, sir, you're paying me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, the life of a DJ. <laughs> yeah. Shit. But he was like, I was, I was young too. He's like, oh, I got you with the lick. <laughs> oh, like, shit. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Guido Poppy, how many years do you think you've been doing music? <laughs> seriously? Seriously? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Because, you know, like, you've been into music since you was like five yeah. or six years old. We spoke yeah. about that. Yeah. Because I had to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's only right that I get it from the beginning to let them know who you are. Um, your drive. What is your drive? I say it started four years ago. So my drive right now is to put myself successfully and financially where I want to be. Right. And that's the main goal first. After that, it's only up from there. Do you give your own self like motivation or do Hell you yeah. motivated? Hell yeah. I kick my own ass every day. Okay. Okay. If not, I ain't doing shit. Right. Right. Now. Now. Um. I know you've worked with a lot of artists and stuff like that. You know, do you prefer working with artists? I like solo stuff, but I also like working with people. As long as we got good chemistry right. and creative mind, and like we can either agree on stuff or agree to disagree, that's cool. I just don't like hotheads. Right. And everybody's hot. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a hothead too sometimes. We, we all hotheads. Yeah. Right. You stick too many hotheads in one group. It just group. gotta be the right ones, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that way it can, something can happen. Because if it's too many, <laughs> nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. It's just a bunch of fire. So and I've been in those situations, too. Right, right. I wanted to ask you, like, what was one of the worst situations you ever been in? Be, be more st situations like, in what, though? Like going to do a party or okay, something. Okay, so the like worst that. thing. Oh, easy. Right. Easy. I got it right here. This is a couple years ago. <laughs> I never asked this question, so. I got booked to do a mansion party. Okay. In Haines City, if you don't know where the hell that is, it's way out in the boonies. Yeah. I was very skeptical with it, but I did a contract, they signed it, they paid, they did the deposit, whatever. I was like, all right, cool, we're going out there. Promoted it. Right. It was like 400 people in that fucking thing. It was me Whoa. and two other DJs. And we, we had like 12 speakers all throughout the house, indoor, outdoor pool, all this right. crazy shit, whatever. Right. I didn't know that they were trapping inside the thing, like heavy shit. 
I didn't know. There's so many bedrooms in that Trap, house. Trapping, explain that. Trapping. They were because, selling hard yeah, drugs. Yeah, yeah, because these people drugs. don't understand. You know, I'm some talking, of them are goofy. I'm you talking know? not even like <laughs> cocaine, like meth. I was like, what the fuck? Crazy. Oh, so I had no idea, like, though. I'm over here, you know, just turning up, keeping the vibe. Right, we right. We got bitches twerking. There's a bunch of shit going on. It's cool. And then I hear, like, someone says, oh, cops are here, cops are here. And I'm like, okay, all right. Cops are here, cool. No big deal. Right, I'm a DJ. I'm yeah. out of here. I got a contract in my pocket. I ain't getting in trouble. But, right, uh, I'm going. <laughs> so, I'm going home. Then I see the cops raiding the place. And I got a gun pointed at me. Oh, whoa. And I'm like, all right. Yeah, we're shutting this down. So I tell everybody on the microphone, like, all right, you know, cops are here. Everybody get out respectfully. Right. Be nice to the cops. Like, don't cause any problems. Right, right. Let's go. And uh, so they, I talked to the cop. The cop's like, you're good. You know, you can uh, pack up your stuff. I parked around the back. So he's like, we can go over there. You're good. Just stay right. over there. And uh wasn't mine. I swear to God, I don't even do this shit. But right next to my car when I was packing up with my boy, it was a backpack full of cocaine. Oh. Next thing I know, I'm on the ground getting handcuffed. All this, you're resisting. I'm like, I'm so not it, doing shit. And this is just you going to a DJ party. Yeah, bro. It was unfortunate shit. But I didn't get in trouble. It took a long time to get out of that stuff. But just a bunch of crazy shit. Somebody keyed my car. A bunch, a bunch of crazy shit all in one night. Um, Widow Popping, how, how long you been DJing? Uh, about four years, seriously. You've been DJing for four years? Yeah. Um, now, I know you want to turn... Besides doing the DJ, I know you want to turn yourself into an artist, mm -hmm. which you are an artist mm -hmm. yourself, you know. Now, uh, what's making you want to trans, like, I know you was always into music, but what, what's making you want to, like, go from DJing to doing music, being an artist? It's the right time. You feel like I it's feel the like right it's the right time. time for me to do it. And I got the avenue. I got my cloud up and shit right. from the DJ. Right. So, and I've heard from a decent amount of people that it's... Cause like if it was if it was bad, I ain't doing it, you know. Right. If it's not for you, yeah. you're not gonna do it. Nah. Uh, I could definitely. I'm not one of those people that force it. Yeah, I could definitely. I, I can admit that. when like yeah, it's trap. <laughs> now, now, um, I know you've worked with a couple artists. Can you mention a few of them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just recently, you know, we got uh, Master Q, Lot 43, Grim Rose. Grim Rose, check him out. He's good as fuck. Mm -hmm. uh, shit, there's there's just so many, bro. Lately. Uh, I got an EP dropping with my boy Dominic, aka Babe. What's the name of it? No name yet. No name yet. No name okay. yet. Hey, no date, no nothing. Uh uh, I probably so shouldn't exclusive. even be talking about it. You probably so gonna get mad. So it's exclusive. Yep. Say no more. There's a bunch of stuff. I'm working on a project that I want to drop later on. Bunch of singles coming out. Yeah. Do you plan on doing your own project? Yeah, I just dropped one in December. A small of little your one. Your own project? Mm -hmm. How many songs? Uh, Four. It's called and Lost in the Motions. That was the name of the project. Mm -hmm. Why you named it Lost in Emotions? Because I felt like for two years I was lost in the motions. Every day was the same. Makes sense. I had to get out. So all these little stories I tell in the songs, and it's uh everyone's a different vibe. I went through a lot of shit with an ex. I went through a lot of shit with some family. I lost a couple close family members. Just a bunch of shit. I deal with depression, anxiety, all that shit. We all do, you know? Yeah. Uh, Guido, probably if you had the chance to work with an industry artist, who would you work with? Oh, shit. There's so many, man. Just Depends on the one. genre. Uh, it's, okay. Give artist, me three. Give me fuck, three. I'm going to say a producer. Uh, uh, I want to work with Mike Dean, if you know who that is. Yeah. Mike uh -huh. Dean. Uh -huh. He's the synthesizer uh -huh. god. Yeah. Like, do so he like Beethoven. Pretty much. Yeah. The Beethoven of the modern <laughs> hip-hop world. Yeah, I fuck with that. That's good. I like that. We getting there. We getting there. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, it feels good to talk to someone that at least, you know, that that that, that has grown, grown up with music. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you took it to a whole different level. You know, do you want to be independent on your own or do you want somebody to come give you a deal? I mean, if they give me a deal... It's gotta be what I want. It's gotta be sweet, and they can't be stingy. As long as you follow those three rules, and don't try to fuck me over. If you follow those right. rules, we good. But other than that, I'll probably be independent. Guido you got Poppy. my power. Guido Poppy. Mm -hmm. That name. Guido Poppy. Guido Poppy. Explain to people <laughs> how did you get Guido uh, Poppy. So when I was younger, uh, a lot of my friends they just call me Guido. My dad, he's like really Italian. Italian. 
got the, the chest hair hanging out, the gold chains yeah, yeah. all the time, wife say, beater. <laughs> hey, yo, how you doing? Yo? Yeah, 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 the accent. Exactly. Man. That's where Guido came. So they used to call me, his name is Joe. So they used to call me Little Joe, and I hated that. Because I'm like, I'm not like my dad at all. I'm not Joey. <laughs> Love my dad, but I'm not like him. But uh, so they used to call me Guido all the time. And uh, after the Jersey Shore came out, that's where Guido got a bad rep, you know. But I embrace it. Fuck it. It is what it is. And I'm a poppy because I'm Spanish, my mom's side, and like, shh. It just fits perfect. Yeah, the bitches call me poppy. All the dudes would just call me Guido. Guido the girls right. would call me Guido poppy. So it's like, all right, I, I, I'm with it. Yeah, you, you got it for, for both. Like and it fits Guido. as a DJ name and an artist name, you know? Yeah. Some artist name people, like, they see it Guido is. poppy and they'll be like, uh, no. But, but it's care. different. It's me. It's different and it's unique. You know what I mean? Um, any any inspirational words, like motivation words for like somebody else that's doing the same thing you doing? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, you are your own worst enemy. So uh, you gotta overcome whatever you got going on to push out and always keep trying to new new stuff. And uh, don't be scared. I mean, don't do stuff that's intentionally bad for you. Right. But you can't be scared. Um, any shout outs? Shout out everybody, bro. All right, first shout out is Eric Barrington up there. That's my e. boy. That's Eric everybody's boy. I e. call him Eric B. E. B. He be putting everybody's sound together out here. He's doing it right. Right. Uh, I can go shout outs all day. I can pull a piece of paper out, read all day. Uh, everybody list. knows who they are, trust me. Right. I got love for everybody. Facts. Um, now, is there anything else you want to tell the world? Because I know you're coming out with a music project. Yeah. Have you named it? Nah. Nah. It's going to be on some, like, I'm trying something different that I really want. It's like some I'm, poppy r and I'm getting stuff. all the exclusives Yeah, right you now. good. Oh, I can also shout out the 352 Mafia. I'm affiliated right. with it. Okay. We got a lot of stuff coming out. This We got an EP coming out, too. Okay, so that's what I was going to say. I know you got a lot of work coming out. You got anything, like, you want to tell them, like, you got anything else that you got going on? Coming nah, up? just the, the next thing I'm only talking about is uh, the single I'm trying to drop when I hit 2K followers on Instagram. So you're definitely going to do the transformation into being an artist? Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. yeah. D- uh, DJ-wise, okay, uh, yeah, you're right. You bring up a good point. Bars on the Beach 2, March 14th, Daytona at Tiernanog. That's going to be popping. That's going to be popping. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Come out there for that. We got vendors. We got a bunch of shit going on. We got, basically, if you... We got the lineup full, but if you want to get on the next one, come out network, say what's up. We're planning number three and four already. Okay. It's hosted by uh, my boy, La43, and I. We take care of all that. Dope, man. Um, I really want to thank you for taking the time. You know, it's an honor to actually get to sit down and talk with you. Yes, sir. I know we're going to get to sit down and talk some more. You know, um, I really appreciate it, though. Cool. Let them know where they can find you at on social media. Right. You can find me at Guido underscore Poppy on Instagram and SoundCloud. I'm making a Twitter today because my ass needs a Twitter. But that's it. Uh, I'm on Spotify. All this stuff as features, though. Nothing yet on my own. But I'm waiting. It's about to come soon, so don't worry. Right. Tune in to Music I Am TV. It's Guido Poppy signing out. It's your boy Nas God, hip hop is real.com. Music I Am TV. You've been fucking with me since day one, so you know I'm fucking with you, man. Thank you.